sur Canal+. Sur Canal+. Sur. Sur. You ready? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, Spinners is the story of Ethan sitting next to me, uh, who's a 17-year-old uh, young man who's driving for a gang in the Cape Flats in the Western Cape uh, province in, in South Africa. So spinning is, is controlled chaos. Um, I think the thrill of it all is that you don't know what's going to happen next. I mean, you have a car, it's, you know, being thrown around a pitch. There's so much danger. Um, so it's like, it's like a life-threatening sport. And I think pe that's why people love watching it and why people love doing it. It was really nice to, to, to experience why it is so great. So, yeah, um, I never spun before, but I definitely will <laughs> now. I used to spend a lot of time in South Africa. I used to live in South Africa back in 2017. And that's where I encountered spinning for the very first time. And I started digging into that subculture in the, in the Western Cape. And the more I was digging into the culture of spinning, the more I found out about the, the people who were practicing it and the, the community who was interested into spinning. And we, with Joachim Lando, the, the co-creator, we wanted to tell a story that would be more than only spinning, but depict the life of the communities who are involved into spinning. I had a few months to prepare for, 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 for Ethan. So for that four months, I trained something that I never did before, because when I portrayed the um, roles before spinners, I would use pieces of myself or source the character, birth the character from either my heart, my brain, or a, an experience. But with Ethan, I had to become a blank canvas. So I had to forget everything that I am, even my mechanisms, because I bite on my teeth a lot. Um, it's something I do as Canton a lot, and it read through in so many characters. But with Ethan, I try to keep it so minimalistic around the gang, um, because it, it, it's a sign of... Huge internal tension. Yes. Um, and showing that away, giving that away in, in the gang environment um, would be very deadly to him. So. And most of the extras we worked with were gang members, actual mm -hmm. gang members that were living in the hood we were walking in. Yeah. That was also part of giving back because those people just let us shoot our series in their neighborhood. They opened their, ho their, their houses, their streets, their corners, and we were able to shoot something and we felt extremely privileged, even if it was extremely complicated and difficult on a daily basis to walk there. Those people just opened their lives for us. I think because he respected the, the story that he's telling, he told it so beautifully, it f just felt like we were being at home and we, you know, we still had pieces of home with us um, because the story wasn't something that we felt um, someone else wrote from a, a perspective of not understanding or trying to push an agenda because there's a lot of that content um, in and around South Africa so f to have someone tell our story so beautifully um, and respect everything that came all the changes that came the Afrikaans that came but understanding all that and you know allowing it just literally felt like we had a piece of home on set with us it was such a challenge for Yaku the director to shoot the spinning scenes that was a nightmare mm. just before we shot them. I mean, we did not know if we would be able to have it. And at the end of the last day of that sequence, we were so exhausted and stressed, but we got it. Mm. And in the end, it was a surprise because the challenge was huge. But in the end of the day, we have it.